everybody. Welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie, part two. Today is Sunday, the 14th of April. Is that right, Julie? 14th? That is right. It is April 14th. Holy cow. Middle of yes. April. <laughs> uh, so yes, I'm thrilled that Julie was able to join me for filming today. Um, she's got so much on her plate. So I'm 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 very grateful for that. So anyway, um, so here we are. It is the middle of April. A uh, couple more weeks in the mini catalog, a couple more weeks in the annual. And then we get to open up finally the um, the, the new annual. So uh, Julie, what do you think of the new annual catalog? You've had a few weeks now to digest it. I totally love it. I absolutely do. I think... Um, it is so fresh and I know the layout is a little bit different than we've had in the past, but the thing I love about the layout is it really highlights and spotlights the new stuff. Like it's really easy to see what's new. Um, it's all together up front. Um, sometimes I miss the new stuff because it's just like interspersed throughout. So it's really great to have that just like all together, all up front and we can really see um, what's new. And then um, they're highlighting returning stuff kind of in a different way, which I don't mind. I kind of like it. Um, and it's smaller, which I personally love um, because it always feels so overwhelming, especially now we've got new product being released every other month with online exclusives and the mini catalog. We don't need the, the annual catalog to be gigantic. It's It doesn't have to hold us over for a whole year. I absolutely agree with you. Um, I think what I what I have been saying is that just the basics, just put the basics in there, and yeah. a few you know, new new things, and and it freshen it up with the mini catalogs. So I so appreciate a smaller catalog for me personally. I just remember starting twenty two years ago feeling so. <laughs> I, I just, I, I don't even know where to start. I think on my very first order, I didn't order any ink pads. I think I ordered a couple stamp sets and some paper. Oh, I'm sure I would have had some ink pads on your order for you. You probably, yes. Well, we had, <laughs> we had a family tragedy around that same time. So um, I don't really remember a whole lot about my Stampin' Up! start there, but yeah. But anyway, yes, I agree with you. And I know a lot of people are saying they like that little red N that indicates that it's a new product. However, we don't need it. As you, when you get your catalogs, if you don't already have them, as Julie said, everything new is kind of up front. Mm -hmm. So they start with a new crafter and guiding them through how to get started. And then they move to the suites and all the suites are together. Yeah. So you Turn the page and there's another suite. Turn the page and there's another new suite. So I love that because our current catalog, you have to keep flipping back and forth to try to find the, the stuff you want. So it's all kind of up front. Following the suites are the bundles. Following the bundles are standalone stamps. And then there's, as you pointed out, it's called Encore. And that's where all of the returning product is going to be. Well, I shouldn't say all. From the two catalogs, you will you will find them there. So, and it just kind of progresses from there. So it's different. Give yourself time to acclimate to how it's laid out, and I hope, I think you will come to like it as much as Julie and I do. So, anyway, I digress. Let's move to my desktop. Hey, would you like to see what I'm doing today? Yes, I we am. um <laughs> we are talking a lot about the new catalog, but I'm excited to shine a spotlight on some of our last chance favorites. And there's a huge list of stuff that is not only being discontinued, but also on sale. And so I'm excited that um, that we're kind of showing all of those one last time. And do you want to tell everybody about our challenge? <laughs> I've forgotten what our challenge is. Oh, to challenge, to use retiring stuff, right? Use as many retiring products on one card as we can. No problem. I got you. <laughs> you know what? I forgot what we were doing. So I am. I have chosen um, for mine on page twenty-two of the annual catalog the Dainty Delight. So that is going to be the stamp set and the the dies that I use because I am doing some die cutting with it. In addition to that, I am using 
the masterfully made designer series paper. Both of those, all of those are retiring. So on the last chance list, I've just jotted myself a note here. The Dainty Delight stamp set is 30% off. So that's $17.50. You can't beat that. And the Dainty Delight dies are 30% off as well for $18. So for $36.50, $35.50, I can't math apparently, uh, you get a bundle. So, wow. Uh, and the masterfully made paper is also 30% off. So it's on sale for $13. And of course, I'm going to use those iridescent rhinestones that are going away. So <laughs> that's what I'm using. So I, oh, I'll show you, let, let me just do this. Let me get the catalog out of the way and show you the stamp set and the bundle. I, I just ah, love this. I love the, it is dainty. And I just love the different things that we have. This little small flowers to the big tall one over here. And some, thank you for your kindness. Celebrate you. The best is yet to come. Mixed font. Love it, love it, love it. And then the dies. This is up nine stamps. And they're cling. This is, <laughs> look at all those. There's 16 of these dies. This is such a beautiful bundle. I, I forgot about it. I haven't used this one in probably a year. It's just been sitting on my shelf. Ah. I forgot how good it was. Yes. Well, it is. It is a good one. Um, so I'm going to set this aside and bring out what little of this masterfully paper that I have. Last week, I didn't have any. This is all I have left of this so I can't show you all the pieces because this is basically it. It's 12 by 12 paper. It's just, this is it. This is all I have. <laughs> you did good to use up all your paper before, before yeah. it's gone. I love it. It's such gorgeous paper. So this is the one where they took... Um, the the artist who created it took like paper and tore it and created um these these scenes in this artwork and then they they photographed it to create this paper so nice. um it has a very hand handmade kind of look to it because it is i think that's why i like it so much because of that i love that look all right so let's get started with what i'm going to do and this is a layout i haven't used in a long time and i don't even know who to give it give credit to it for it, it wasn't me i'll be honest with you about that but um there it is okay so i'm starting with a piece of fresh freesia four and a quarter by 11 and i will score it at five and a half and then i'm going to cut three inches off the piece of this and then i have a piece of the designer series paper two and a quarter by four inches and then the inside piece is a piece of basic white four inches by five and one quarter so those are my paper pieces and of course, we will have all the measurements in the description as well. All right, so I've got my paper trimmer here. And as I mentioned, I need to score this at five and a half, which I usually have done ahead of time. And I don't know why I didn't, but. While you're scoring, I just wanted, I was looking up the price because you said the designer paper was 30% off and you said it was $13, but oh. that's. That's actually $8.75 is the sale price on that paper. <laughs> Thank you. I wrote down. <laughs> it's not even $13 original price. So I think. Well, that you are, you're right. That does seem odd. I was the thinking, item above it. I think you just were looking at the item above it. The sale price for that is $13. Oh so I, I think it was just a. I think you're right. So thank you for that, Julie. <laughs> I'm like, okay. that doesn't sound right. It's cheaper than that. <laughs> I know it is. Um, okay. So um, I've scored my cardstock at five and a half. And then I've measured to three inches. And I'm going to cut that off. Oh. And keep it. Because we need it. So here is, that's it. That's all I need this for. A little scoring, a little cutting. And we're good. So this is going to fold over. And my phone folder has walked okay sorry about this this is my whole bone folder 
because this is going to end up over here. So I'm going to put uh, designer series paper here, and then there's, there's going to be some elements on here. I also punched out um, an oval for the greeting. All right. So, oh my goodness, I don't know what I did with it. All right, so I'm going to do that. So I've got some of the stamps here that we're going to use, and I've got some blends, and I'm using um, the light Pretty Peacock and the light and dark Fresh Freesia blends. And I'm going to stamp. Sure, I am if I can get this sucker open. Ooh, all right. Well, I need something under here. And I don't know what I do with my little grid paper. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to stamp in the corner and I'm not going to stamp the whole one. So I just want part of it there. Now, I also took the same stamp on some other white paper and I colored it and die cut it already. So this is what I did. So I've got two of these already pre-done. And I will color this one as well. But while I have this out, I want to stamp the inside greeting, which is the best is yet to come. Mm. Hold on. Oh, okay. Is your card horizontal or vertical? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> yep. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Good thing you're watching today. Well, you could probably make it horizontal too. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, that's a good thing I didn't color the with the blends yet. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to get a new piece. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's. I'm telling you. Maybe I need to go to bed and start the day over. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here we go. Now, while I have my ink out so I don't get yelled at through the computer, <laughs> I am going to stamp Celebrate You. And I'm putting it up here for a reason. And here's the reason. Oh, this is crooked. I don't like it. All right. Yeah, I am having a, an off day here. Aww. All right. Let's see if we can do this without being crooked. That's better. Oh, that looks good. All right. So now we're going to close up the ink. Happy Julie? <laughs> yes. You just always make me so nervous with your sleeve, and I'm just so worried. Like <laughs> it's because I I'm messy and I always get myself inked up. And so yeah. that's that's why I'm nervous. It's okay. You're looking out for me. Absolutely. Even older. <laughs> Before you take my inks and stamps away from me. Oh, I will never take your inks and stamp away. <laughs> oh, Lord. These little leaves are so tiny. So I'm trying to be very careful. And just kind of dot the ink on. Did you say you were using the light or the dark peacock? The light. Okay. It better be. I oh, think, I think sometimes on leaves that small, it doesn't really matter. There's not that much difference. You're right. There isn't that much difference. Okay. I think I have all the leaves. Yeah. Start with the light, fresh freesia. And those dark flower here in light. I like these colors together. Yeah. Okay. 
And I'm going to put a dark center here and do the little buds darker. And because there's so much, you know, little pieces, that's why I went ahead and did them ahead of time. All right, that's a leaf I missed. Okay, so our inside is done. Now let's bring this guy out and just put a little color on our tag. I think we'll put there. And just throw a little color on here. Okay. Now our tag is done, so it's time to do some assembly. So we'll go ahead and put our inside piece on. <laughs> yep, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, it's finally sunshiny today. We've had a couple of days of cold, damp rain. And we were, supposed to, uh, we were supposed to go to a Tiger game yesterday. Oh. Uh, and it was just too cold and too windy. Yeah. The winds were, and we were surprised that they even had the game because there was some question whether it was even going to be played. It's been about the same here, too. Like, we had some nice weather, and then it got cold and rainy again, and... This weekend is beautiful. Yeah, it is. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and put this on. So, of course, because I don't want to close up the whole shebang, I'm going to just use some dimensionals on one side. So that'll go on here and it'll be kind of poofy, a little raised. Usually I just use regular adhesive. I wanted to see what this would be like raising up this this one. So that looks about right. I think it helps to separate the um, same color designer paper from the cardstock. It kind of gives it a little more. I think you're right. Of a distinction. So I'm going to put like a little bouquet here. Oh, nice. Okay, so I'm going to... Is that another piece by your stamp and dimensionals? What is that one, a die cut? Oh, here? Oh, I used that on another card. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That's supposed to be in camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to add a little snail here. We'll start with this one. And then over here, I'm going to kind of cross them up here a little bit. And I'm going to put some dimensionals on this one. I was channeling you, Julie, with all these dimensionals. You know I love my dimensionals. <laughs> yes, I do. But in this case, I think it's... Oops warranted all right so we have that there so i also brought out some of my white baker's twine and um i saw this i don't even know where i saw it to be honest with you but i thought that's really so clever um and i sometimes i like to use like a double bow so i'm i just i'm doubling my baker's twine and i'm going to tie a bow So it's kind of like a double bow. Oh, that's really pretty. And then what I can do is cut this loop. Why this really is a loopy loop, a loopy bow. No, there we go. That looks better. Oh, 
C. Okay. And then we'll get some glue dots out. Put that there. And then our, <clears throat> our Celebrate You will be here. This is so pretty. I just love this. It just kind of, I was even thinking of completely different colors. You know how that works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Parts in your head is not what you wind up with. We're just going to tuck that right about there. Now, I used a different punch on the, my sample, so I'll have to show it to you. Oh. And of course, let me bring out my iridescent rhinestones. I'll be so sad. I don't know if I can even put them in my sale bin. No. Oh. <laughs> we have to just save them just for me. Okay. So let's put one over here. And one, maybe I didn't want the big one. I don't know. One over here. And let's put a smaller one on the tag. There you go. Oh, I do like that. Oh, so pretty. The best is yet to come after celebrating you. I love it. The um, the I use this, the. This I don't know which one I like. Oh, best. the heartfelt hexagon. Yeah, yeah. Which one do you like? Oh gosh, I don't know. It's a toss-up. They're really, they're okay. really both fantastic. Yeah. Thanks. Anyway, I I couldn't decide, so I thought, well, I'll do one with one punch and one with the other. I do have some samples. As long as I had everything out, I started playing. Now, this one, um, I think I showed you guys last week because this was the inspiration for the card um, layout that I did. So, yeah. yeah. Who was that? Was that a, was that your card or was that a swap? Nope. This was my card. Okay. I did this quite a while ago, actually. Yeah. I don't even know what paper this is. It it was from Celebration. It was, um, I think it was last year's Celebration. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, I've had this for a while. Uh, but I did this one. I brought out the oh. that's where those other die cuts because I couldn't decide if I wanted more than one. And so I brought out this glitter, this three color glitter paper. Oh, that's pretty. So I don't know. Do you think it needs more than one? Uh, I mean, with the sentiment that you have being so long, I think one is good. If you had a smaller sentiment, I would love the three on there. But I, I like it the way it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I did. And I instead of the iridescence, I did bring out the sequins because they nice. Yeah. And then I did this one. I just had a bunch of scraps of this. And so I thought, well, what would happen if I cut them and mounted them on? Uh, this is Melon Mambo. That's really pretty. And peacock. Are the are the die cuts part of the dainty dies? They are. As okay. is sending love during the season of growth. These die cuts are from the dainty delight. So that was my challenge, was to use the dainty delight in as many ways as I could do them with. <laughs> I love it. Well done. These are fantastic Thank cards. You. Thank you so very much. All right. So I am going to turn my camera and flip it around and show you one more look at my card. So there it is in all its iridescent rhinestone glory. Beautiful. Just Thank beautiful. You. Thank you so much. So I can't wait to see what you're doing, Julie, is when you film. So um, this will be kind of exciting. I can't wait to see either. I have no idea. <laughs> I was looking over the last chance list while you were um, showing us your
project and trying to trying to figure out what I am going to use. And um, I am determined to use the maximum number of retiring products that I can on this one card. So um, I'm just going to throw it all in there. <laughs> Here you go. And my challenge too, because I was concerned because I was thinking about using this set as we were talking about what we were doing this week. And I was so concerned that it was going to sell out because, mm. you know, and I know that, you know, it's on sale. So the chances were better that it would be available because the number of stamp sets that are already gone yeah, and the season <laughs> just started really blew me away when I was updating my list. So I gotta find my list. Well, I won't bother, but I I just kept highlighting what was gone already. It was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. And so I was happy that the Dainty Delight was still available because I thought I better get this filmed real quick. <laughs> <laughs> so many good items, even though there's already a lot that are sold out, there's still a whole lot more that hasn't and a whole lot that's on sale. So Make sure you get your orders in because everything is only available while supplies last until April 30th. Right. So like the end colors, the refills are gone. Yeah. But everything else, last time I checked was still there. Ink pads and cardstock and stamp and blends and ribbon. Yep. They are still um, it, what I checked before I started filming. So yes. But we're done. I'm done for today. Um, if you haven't uh, seen Julie's video yet, somewhere on the screen will be a link to go back and watch hers. So um, have at it. I can't wait to see it. But <laughs> for now, until next Sunday stamping with Susan and Julie, have a great week, everybody. Julie, I will see you. Drive safe. I can't wait till you're here. Yay! I don't <laughs> we'll get to stamp together. We'll try, but if we don't, it's gonna it's gonna be a a quick and busy trip, but we're looking forward. We're yeah, looking we forward to it. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks. Have a great week. Bye, mom. Love Bye. you. Bye. You too.